an advertisement for paint in Nepal, coloring dream homes in this ever-expanding city. What most people don't know is the paint they use might contain lead, a poison that slowly kills you. Gopal Baskota has been a painter for 15 years now. When I am painting interiors, I feel dizzy. Maybe it is the gas that comes out of paint. I also get chest pains, and when I walk upstairs, my bones feel weak. Lead poisoning is hard to detect, as symptoms are similar to many other diseases. The World Health Organization has set a standard for lead in paint. Only 90 parts per million is acceptable. But studies have shown that there are some paints with 2,000 times the standard limit, posing a great health risk to those who use it. We visited a pediatric hospital. Dr. Ram Krishna Chandio has been trying to set up a facility to test lead in blood. Iron and zinc, it's, you, if you, will, you will see the national level also, these two nutrients are problematic. But when these nutrients are deficient, the people are more vulnerable for lead poisoning also. The hospital has noticed an increasing number of children with delayed cognitive development, raising suspicions of lead poisoning. Dheeraz Bodil has been researching lead contamination in Nepal. Most of Montessori, they are using this uh, yellow color or other bright colors. And because the children, they put their hand and there were some spots. So they are frequently painting to make their building attractive, but actually they are damaging their uh, students' uh, health. Pressure from local NGOs and the media has led the government to act. We are in the process of uh, making uh, one stand uh, in terms of uh, the uh, you know threshold of uh, lead in paint. So government is uh, trying its best. Government officials say the new standard will be announced within a month. Only then will children be able to play without the fear of lead poisoning in primary schools like this. Subina Shrashta, Al Jazeera, Kathmandu.